Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, oil pulling. Hello everybody, this is Jana from Shining Mama. Oil pulling is uh, really ancient comes from Asia, from, from the yoga traditions. It's done with oil, <coughs> as the name says it. I'm going to show you how I do it and I'm also going to say something about what it does to your body. This oil pulling thing is always helping me to come back on track because when I'm getting tired my body starts showing signs of Unease. and one of the first things that happened to me when I'm tired is that my uh, mouth becomes very sensitive so my teeth become very sensitive I can't eat all the things that I normally do and doing oil pulling for 30 days in a row and on a consistent basis so every day helps my mouse and my body to get back on track with things and lessens the unease. What it does actually, it pulls, like the name says it, it pulls the little irritations that are present in your body and little uneases, unbalances. So what do you need? You need oil, like the name says it, oil pulling. You can use any kind of oil you want. I use cocos oil because for my constitution seems to be better but you can experiment with whatever you have in house. I also like much more the, the taste of the cocos oil at the moment but I used to do it with hemp oil. I also really really love the taste of the hemp oil. The idea is to do it immediately after you wake up and the more you will do it, the more your body is going to detox. You just take a little bit of oil in your mouth and you swish it in your mouth like you would do water, like, you know. I'm going to put it in my mouth and I'm going to show you on, probably on fast, fast speed. I take something like this because the cocos oil in this case is uh, melting at, at the body temperature. so. It, Eventually, after you swish it in your mouth for a while, it's, um, it's going to be uh, liquid enough and melt, uh, melt it together with your saliva and it will be easy to swish it in your mouth. In the beginning you, you won't be able to talk, I won't be able to talk. And uh, something else that it does is it cleans everything that your body is detoxing through the night is coming on in your mouth and it, if that grosses you out then uh, you can stop the video now the things that that are in your body and you're detoxing overnight some of them are going out through your skin and most of them especially the things that are in your gut and in your stomach they are coming into your mouth. If you are like me and you are sleeping sometimes with mouth open, then this adds to the problem. So what I noticed during the years, because I've done, I've done this on and off for maybe six, seven years, not only that it cleans your breath in the morning and it makes it easier to, to brush your teeth and to have a very healthy tongue, but it also uh, cleans my breath and if I do it consistently, then I don't have in the morning such a bad breath. And which is lovely because my son and I are going in the morning in bed and just uh, playing with each other. I don't think that uh, I would like to have a bad breath in the morning. And if you're married, even more <laughs> important. The drill is that you, you do it immediately after you get up. Please do the urgent things first, <laughs> but after you get up and you do the urgent things first, then you do this and you swish it in your mouth like you would clean your mouth and then you spit it somewhere. Don't swallow it, please don't swallow it because the things that are coming into your mouth are actually toxic and um, by 
drinking in the morning the bad breath, we are taking the toxic things inside our body again. I like to use natural stuff, so I also make my own toothpaste and my own shampoo, soap. It's the only one that's left actually that I can't do myself, but for the rest I use only natural materials. So I also made my own toothpaste. I have actually two, two kinds. The dark one is sweet and the green one is uh, soft. If you don't want to make your own toothpaste and you don't care about that, um, just uh, use whatever you have, but please look on your toothpaste to be as natural and organic as possible. These are poros, so your teeth are taking everything in. And you can make your teeth healthier just by doing the oil pulling and also by brushing your teeth with healthy toothpaste and of course by food and another subject for another video. So I'm going to show you how I do the oil. So you spit it, you spit it in a bowl, I'm going to explain why. First of all, how long you do it. It depends on you and on your mouth and on how dirty it is inside when you wake up because some people have really clean mouth. If, um, if you don't eat very much crap, oh, excuse my language, uh, then you have a clean gut and your a clean mouth. If you eat much crap, excuse my language again, <coughs> then you have a more dirty mouth. And uh, don't swallow it. Just throw everything that you can into the bowl. And I have this very beautiful bowl for it because I like things to be pretty. And after that, brush your teeth. You can also uh, clean your mouth with water, but you can also just directly, and I can show you, I have the, uh, here uh, some toothpaste of my salty one. The oil also brings, uh, brings an alkaline medium in your mouth and if you are also brushing your teeth with a salty alkaline uh, toothpaste, that's very very nice for your body. Maybe something else about the duration of, of this exercise, it also depends on how well your mouth is exercised because with this oil pulling thing, if you do it every day you will discover that you actually have more muscles around your jaw than you thought you have. And this is something good because um, you can exercise all those, also these muscles which we are actually uh, a losing function for and that's why we have all kind of problems with our mouth and everything. And I just brush my teeth. If you are in a place with no water, you can also leave this toothpaste on your teeth and just run with it. <clears throat> you don't have to cleanse it after that. And I'm ready to go. <clears throat> Something else which I all also do when I finish this procedure is I scrap my tongue. My tongue is really clean because I scrap it two times a day in the morning and in the evening when I brush my teeth and that is also something very good to do for your body. The only thing that you have to do after this is get rid of the oil because it's toxic you should throw it away somewhere where it's not going to embarrass your plants because plants are forgiving but uh, if you throw it in a garden on the same spot it's at one point it's going to kill your plants. So find a spot where you can throw it away outside. And if not, if you live in the city, you can just run very hot water through your, on your, in your sink. It's not such a green solution, this one, so I don't really recommend it because it takes a lot of water to take your oil away. Another solution that I found was in the city was to throw the oil in a pot or something and close it and just throw it into the regular garbage or, or in the green garbage. It's also possible. Just clean it in once in two days and you will be fine. That was it for today. I'm Yona from Shining Mama. If you want more tips, please go to my website and subscribe to my newsletter because I send you really yummy, interesting stuff.